It's Michelle here or Mish Crafts and welcome back to my channel before we get into the normal squishy tutorial I just wanted to let you guys know that this is a special collab with three of my homemade favorite squishy youtubers And it is crafty Neko, Chelsea DIY and squishy Boa forever and yes, they did an amazing job So after you watch my tutorial go ahead and check out their amazing videos The links will be in the description box and without further ado, let's just get into the materials the things you will need to make this narwhal squishy is puffy paint, acrylic paints, various paintbrushes, car wash sponges or any type of foam you use to make your squishies, scissors, a painting palette, some disposable gloves for painting, and this is optional but you might need a ball chain and an eye pin to turn your squishy into a keychain. Begin with a piece of foam and cut it into a round sphere type of shape. As you saw earlier, I was going to make a loaf of bread type of squishy, but you know, I didn't finish, so it's gonna be our narwhal today. Okay, so after you have that semi-sphere looking shape, you're going to cut a tail out of it, and I don't really know how to explain, so just keep watching. A narwhal is not a narwhal without its horn, so I cut a cone-shaped piece of foam for the horn, and it's pretty self-explanatory. And after all of that, I secured it on with a little dab of super glue. After all the cutting, it's time for painting, and you know, I always like to start off with white as a blank canvas. Once the base color has fully dried, it's time to add some detail and character to the narwhal. And obviously today is Valentine's Day, so it's kind of wrong if I don't paint this Valentine's themed. So I'm going to incorporate some pinks and reds in it. And this painting process took around three thick coats. After I painted the narwhal pink, I went ahead and added some more details by painting on the horns and some random stuff on it that you'll see later on in this video. And I also added a face because what's an animal without a face, you know? That's just how it is. And then after I painted on the horn and the stomach and the side hearts on the side of the narwhal, it still looks empty. So I decided to add some colorful specks on the narwhal because why not? You know, you can do whatever you want. Now that I'm looking back, it kind of looks like fruity pebbles on the narwhal. I kind of painted that wrong, but you know, let's just not look at it like that. After that, I kind of went a little bit more extra and I found this holographic, what they say, holographic paint, but it's actually Mod Podge and glitter. But anyways, I kind of dabbed that on and I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's on there. Okay, so now for the other half of this video, I'm going to show you guys how I made the packaging for the Narwhal Squishy. So I basically made some stickers by sketching out some designs that I wanted to add onto some paper and then I colored them all in and cut them out and then used tape to tape them on the plastic packaging. You'll see, just keep on watching. I know, I'm low-key bad at explaining, but um, why do I sound like a man? Do I sound like a man? Comment down below. I'm kinda sick, so that's why. And yeah, like I said before, just cut out your designs and use some tape to laminate them and stick them onto your plastic packaging. And that is it. That is basically all you have to do. Just make stickers and stick them on the plastic packaging. That's like literally my cheat way of making homemade squishy packaging. It's so cute and simple, but yet it looks like you put a lot of effort into it, even though you literally just like cut out stickers and paste them on. 
So that concludes the end of this Narwhal Valentine themed tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to check out three of my close YouTube friends. Their videos will be down in the description box. And they made some really cute Valentine's themed homemade squishies as well. So I'm about to watch those videos right after I upload this one. So I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like this video if you watch till the end. And subscribe if you are new because we're trying to reach to 100k here. Let's get it, you know. Let's get this bread thank you so much for watching again and i will see you guys in my next video and i promise it's a homemade squishy collection video so get ready for that